Listen, it is a special day here at WKYC as we mark another Velisano Day of Giving. Last year, the fundraiser for cancer research brought in a record-breaking $14.3 million, <laughs> and you know that we want to beat that. So just want to make a note for you here. You see at the bottom of your screen there on the right-hand side is a QR code. That is what you can scan <laughs> and you can donate. Uh, we're just going to try to make it as easy for you as possible. That is right. And Stephanie Haney joined us now from Mall B in downtown Cleveland with how you can participate. Hi, Stephanie. Hello, Russ and Christy. Yes, it is the Velisano Day of Giving. You do see that QR code on your screen. And when we talk about what you're supporting here, you're supporting life-saving cancer research. And this helps these researchers get these ideas out of their heads and into a lab as soon as possible. Our senior health correspondent, Monica Robbins, explains how one researcher has a special stake in making that happen. During Andres Ponti's sophomore year of college, he never expected his biology studies to become a life experience. Uh, I received a diagnosis of uh, stage 3 testicular cancer um, and then began uh, treatment of chemotherapy uh, followed by uh, surgery. His treatment at Cleveland Clinic exposed him to the world of medical research and he decided to make a difference. I had cancer. I had friends and family with cancer. I've lost some family members. Um, so this is a topic cl really close to me. Andres works at Cleveland Clinic as a senior research technologist while working on his Ph.D. He received $25,000 from Velisano to study why aging speeds up the progression of glioblastoma brain tumors. How did the money help? It covers uh, materials and reagents that I can do the preliminary experiments that can hopefully lead to like a much larger uh, study. And so this is this is funding that um, a lot of like young trainees uh, don't have access to. Research costs money and often great ideas never get into a lab because funding isn't available or we must wait for great researchers to build on their work to be able to attract funding resources. Velasano gives them a chance. Without the money, I think you'll just never know like what is a good idea and what's a bad idea. Monica Robbins, 3 News. And as we just heard there about Ponte, Ponte will be riding in Velisano this year for the first time. I also want to introduce you to our new friends here. We have Eden here. And Eden, uh, tell me a little bit about what's on your shirt there. This is Kid on my Velisano shirt I designed this year. Okay, that's your name we see on it there. We're going to learn more about that design there. And tell us a little bit about Kid. Kid is really goofy, and he always cheers me up on my rough days at the hospital. <laughs> we love to hear that. That's a great thing for him to be there for. Eden, thank you for saying hi to us. Kid, thank you for saying hi to us. You're going to hear more from Eden uh, and about Kid in a little bit with Joe Cronauer. On this Velisano Day of Giving, here's a reminder. You can tap that QR code on your screen. Just take a photo of it with your smartphone. Hold your camera up to it, and a link will pop up. There's a bunch of other ways to donate. You can also go to velisano.org slash give Rust and Christy so we can try and get as many donations as possible today. No doubt about it. Stephanie, thank you so much, and thank you to all of you who are yeah. clicking right now to help. Yeah, and listen to, yes, she's so excited. <laughs> yes, it, does, it just does so much good.